We have in studio talking about weather and talking about music and life. Uh, we got Nathan Strange joining us. Good morning. How are you, buddy? Not too bad. Thanks for having me in. Absolutely. Um, how was the drive out? Good. Good yeah. so far. Yeah. I okay. hear we're getting like rain and half rain and half snow. And uh, yeah, that's. We'll see how that looks. We'll, I'll survive. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to drive careful. That's all. It's, it's that time of year where uh, the snow falls and everybody goes bonkers with the way that driving goes. Yeah. I'm, I'm torn because I, I hate, hate cold weather. <laughs> so I, I like this, but I also like clear roads and just simple driving in life. So You don't get both, right? You no, can't have your cake never. and eat it too. <laughs> uh, check out your full forecast details anytime by going to weather page at PeminaValleyOnline.com. Now, Nathan, you're here because, well, new music. Yeah, very exciting. Tell us all about it. What do you got going on? Uh, so I just put out, a, on the 23rd, put out a new single called Freaking Out. Um, and, you know, kind of leading into uh, maybe doing an EP in the spring. So, yeah, just kind of excited to, I, I did about two years of of writing and just sitting down and kind of hashing through a lot of stuff and and now it's kind of all starting to flow starting to out. Come out yeah yeah does the pandemic help with just being able to have that extra time to sit down because i know like following on facebook and and, and like uh just seeing all the stuff that you're doing you're so creative and you get out there and you you're pumping out a whole bunch of content yeah i i mean i think uh i've always said you know that, that i need to have that creative outlet to kind sure. of put stuff out there i can't just sit in my basement anymore and just <laughs> not not show people i don't know if that's like a like a center of attention thing or what it is but i i just find that it's very therapeutic to kind of put that content out there and you know during the pandemic i i think there were stretches where you're just like i got nothing to do i'm just gonna gonna make some music and and so it was good but i think there's a huge uh just hesitancy just to not to write about it specifically so right kind of you know when you're alone and you're not around people and you've lost your a lot of your your social avenues you're kind of you're kind of like well what what's there to talk about right now <laughs> you know so um i i think it forced me to kind of go back and just look at you know people and maybe stuff that was going on with with friends or or whatever and just kind of maybe do a bit of learning and just uh sit down and think about it a little more which is, yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, being able to take that time, like you say, therapeutic, it's important too for us to be able to do something like that for our mental health, which is, which is a good thing to know. Yeah, absolutely. Nathan Strange joins us in our studios. Rainy day apparel. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, did I say it wrong? No, that's good. It no, is rainy I'm day just, apparel. Okay, good. You, made, you looked at me a little bit there and I was like, oh no, is it wrong? I, I even th- snicker when I hear that band. Name, <laughs> <know>. Okay, good. <laughs> so where did where did the idea for rainy day apparel come from? The name. Yeah, it, it was it was actually a high school writing project. So it was like decades ago. But it, it basically, um, in describing the music that I make, it's kind of at times can be a little bit uh, slow and depressing and something you might listen to on a rainy day. So the joke was that, uh, you know, this is something you put on when it's raining outside and that was where rainy day apparel came from. I love it. That's actually kind of funny. So uh, the new music, uh, when you talk about writing music, what is that process for you? Because like musicians, they're all totally different how they do it. Are, Are you a let's get the lyrics down or is it I got to I got to strum on a guitar or I got to make a beat or something like that how do you create your music yeah i think the the two halves kind of come together right like uh i'll i'll sit down with a guitar and i'll have an idea if i have a really good uh or something that i consider to be you know worth kind of digging into there might be a set of lyrics that i'm like these kind of fit with this or um you know the tempo or the kind of overall vibe of it kind of fits then they start to I start to kind of sew them together a bit. Um, and and there's no real formula. I think there's got to be a reason why my songs kind of all, you know, sound like me and that sort of thing. But for the most part, I just kind of uh, f- feel out that writing process. And then after that, um, you know, I, I put it to a, a drum track. And then uh, once the acoustic and the vocals are laid down, I, I start adding layers to it. And then I start subtracting some of the original stuff and adding new stuff. And it just kind of takes on a bit of a different life after that. Do you do you enjoy having that full creative control over your music? Because I, I know there are some that it, it is difficult to kind of release when it comes to their music. Yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, but I think at times I find myself longing for that collaboration and that sure. sort of thing. So uh, with the latest single, 
uh, and with the upcoming EP, Evan Giesbrick and his brother Jared are, are helping me with it. Evan's doing the mixing and the nice. and the mastering and all that stuff, and Jared plays drums on it. So to add live drums to it instead of a click track or like a, a right. loop, uh, just brought out like a put put some new life into it. So. Um, I, I'm maybe realizing that doing this alone isn't all it's cracked up to be. You know? <laughs> Just, but, but you know what? You put out some amazing music. So, like, I really appreciate it, that. It, it's you. not that you're not doing it right, right? You're just evolving as a musician yeah i I think so um you know uh, that was a couple i I have a couple people that i bounce songs off of that i'll send them to and be like what do you think of this and uh you know it's like oh that's different but it still sounds like you you know sort of thing and i i think um yeah i I think stretching myself out and kind of doing a doing a better job of of just taking risks and trying new things is is important Especially for a musician, yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of what the song's about, too. It's in, in a bit of a different context, but uh, Freaking Out is about you know taking risks in a relationship and trying new things together and the fact that the best things happen when you are you don't have your guard up or you know that sort of thing. Nathan Strange joins us in studio to talk about uh, the writing process, new music for you, but also your life. How has uh, the adjustment for you as a teacher been over the last two years? Because uh, obviously we've talked a little bit about that, um, that teaching from home, uh, like you also have kids. How does it like, how does that go? Because I'm sure they're sitting there going, oh, dad, don't put on the, yeah. don't put on the teacher hat. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely been crazy. Um, I, I honestly think, I don't know if this is an potentially unpopular opinion, but I think the, the kids have been the, the biggest part in, in making this work. They've just I been, agree. they're so adaptable. They're so, um, you know, they're just, they're, what's the word? They're not like the adults. They're, they're not like jaded and all that stuff. Sure. They're so willing to try, to try things. And, uh, you know, if there's maybe a main reason why we, we get through it, I think it's just the resilience of the little ones that are around us, you know. It's interesting that you say that because, like, uh, when we were going through everything and then people are at home, everything was online. My daughter, who isn't – I don't want to say she's not the best student, but she struggles because of social uh, situations, and she craved having that one-on-one attention with her teacher, and she got it through – uh, online teaching, which was totally different than what we thought. And now that the kids are back in school and everything like that, she's excelling, which is a really neat thing to see. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, everybody kind of goes through weird times in life. I mean, this is a fairly exceptional one, but I think, <laughs> but I think, you know, everybody's going to find their groove and they're, yeah, I think they just don't get enough credit for how adaptable they are. And that as a teacher, that kind of makes life easier. You just have to kind of be along for the ride with them and, you know, try to hit them where they're at sort of thing. Yeah. And, Everybody's in, individually different too. So that makes a big thing. Uh, Christmas is on the way. Uh, big plans for you for Christmas. Uh, I think I'll, I'll go out to, to Saskatchewan, see my family. But aside from that, I'm just kind of looking forward to, to relaxing. It makes sense. Are you going to be watching that football game this weekend? You I will Saskatchewan. be there in the, in Oh, the, you're going in the yeah, flash. I will be there. I will be in the, in the front row in the east southeast end zone so he hopefully be... there's a ton of rider touchdowns over there uh, people are gonna hate that he's but wearing a, a rough riders hat in studio i'm i'm an nfl guy so i have no allegiance to this but i am cheering on the blue bombers just because but uh should be a great game uh, and thanks nathan for dropping by talking to us and uh good luck with everything future wise as far as music goes with you yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it's always a pleasure to to be here, and I really, really appreciate uh, you guys giving me a platform and, and support and all of that stuff. It's, I mean it from the bottom of my heart.